right, welcome back. Well, I am uh, about to start my uh, patrol, and I'm going to try to uh, duplicate uh, Gunther Preen's uh, patrol in October 1939. Okay, so here's the uh, patrol pattern, and once I come off, uh, come around here, we're going to actually start right around. This area here is where I'm going to turn and head up this line because I want to show you something here. I'm actually going to take a shortcut. Now you notice how on these uh, historical maps, the path of um, Gunther's um, patrol takes him right across uh, the Denmark uh, Peninsula here, uh, and obviously you know he didn't go across land. But I think what he did, I mean, he started out at Kiel, but I think he actually came through here, through this river here, because it was certainly wide enough uh, for, for a U-boat, or, well, just about uh, most size ships, actually. And uh, I think he probably came here uh, through uh, this area here. I don't want to even try to, you know, pronounce some of these. Um, cities and towns. I don't want to insult anybody. <laughs> but um, I'm pretty sure he came all the way through here and into this area here, into um, Lower Saxony here. There was actually a port uh, that I believe it was right here at the Cuxhaven uh, where submarines um, came in and I think that he started here so he exited the Elbe basically and um, turned north and off the Denmark coast here is when he turned uh, northwest and started on his uh, patrol. This would have saved a lot of uh, gas not necessarily a lot of time, but it would have saved a lot of gas, for sure. Uh, because otherwise, he would have had to go all the way around here. He could have done so at a much higher speed, but he would have burned a lot of fuel. And and because the line crosses here, you know, these are based on radio tra uh, transmissions. I bet you that's what he was doing. So in the game, you can see me. I'm moving through here on my way through to the Elbe. You can see that I will exit right here at uh, Brunsbüttel. We are in shallow waters, Captain. Off the coast of Cuxhaven, right here. Now I know that um, submarines did this. I don't know if he did this on his uh, patrol or not, but um, I think it's pretty cool. So that's where I'm going to end up, and then. Um, going to actually come uh, up the coast, and that's how I'm going to do it. So I will see you once I'm in the North Sea. Okay, so I am uh, in the North Atlantic, or I'm entering in the North Atlantic. I'm right about here on um, Gunther's uh, patrol. And I am uh, happily sailing on a nice, somewhat cloudy day. The seas are relatively calm. And what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and get below decks, and uh, we're going to get to. Periscope depth here. As we do so, I'm going to get to the sonar and uh, I'm going to take a listen. Okay. 
engage electric motors. I don't hear anything uh, out in the neighborhood yet. Now I want to I want to show you something, um, and that is uh, there's some questions about um, you know how far can you hear a surface contact? Well, in reality, it varies based on where you are in the world and the and the water conditions. But um, basically, in water like the North Sea, which is pretty much always cold, um, you're going to have a, a, a condition which pretty much doesn't vary very much uh, to the bottom. It's not uh, extremely deep out here, uh, and uh, so the sound is going to uh, behave in more or less uh, the same way at um, whatever, uh, you know, it's for, from the surface to the bottom of, of the North Sea. So, uh, I found that in this game, uh, the uh, developers seem to have incorporated some of this, uh, you know, of, of this uh, physics, um, and they, they put uh, layers of different temperature water, uh, where if you go below that layer, uh, the ships on the surface can't hear you as well. If you're above it, you can, they can, but you can also hear them. Uh, very well, and uh, so if you're not um, picking up contacts at the depth that you're at, you might want to uh, consider coming up a little shallower, and uh, you may suddenly hear them. Or it, it can actually be the reverse. You may have to go a little deeper before you can hear them, and that that that's also due to some uh, weird uh, physics of sound in, um, in the water, where it it can. Um, as it's traveling, especially from long distances, it can bounce off the bottom, and then it can, uh, as it's coming back up towards the surface, it can be trapped in, in a layer of a different temperature water, and actually you won't be able to hear it if you're, if you're above that. But I have found that uh, if you draw a circle with a radius of about 20 miles or so, actually it's about 23, or not miles, but uh, kilometers, so 23 kilometers in this case. Um, you can use this to help you uh, with your search pattern. So I'm fairly confident that uh, the max distance that I, that I can hear a target on the surface in the North Sea is about 23 kilometers away. So if, if its contact is out here somewhere, I'm probably not going to be able to hear. If it's within here, I probably will. It's going to sound very faint, but I'll, I'll be able to hear it. So here I am. I'm on the surface still now. Or actually, I was uh, traveling. I submerged this whole time. I periscoped it. But I'm at the end of my circle here. I'm going to take another listen. Uh, what you want to do is come to the surface so you can travel at the end of that circle at a much faster pace. But I was talking this much. Gonna cut the engines off. Oh, stop! I got plenty of battery. So. Sometimes these contacts will be really subtle, so you got to listen really carefully. Even if uh, you do have um, the notifications turned on. Uh, you know, where your sonarman will tell you where the contacts are. Uh, he might not be able to hear him, but you, if you pay attention, you you might be able to hear him where he can. 
I, I did a 360 here and I don't hear anything, so I'm going to come back to the surface. I'm going to max speed here because uh, I have plenty of fuel. And uh, actually, uh, the mod I'm using for some reason uh, creates unlimited fuel and I can't turn that off. So. I'm not using Wolves of Steel, by the way. I'm using a combination of a bunch of much, uh, much older mods. That way I can kind of just create a, a game to my liking. Alright, so I'm going back out here again to 20, about 23 meters or so. It doesn't have to be, you know, exact. If I wait until I get to the end of this circle, then I'm going to uh, just be listening to uh, areas of the water that I haven't listened to uh, before, if that makes any sense. So if I do it here, then half of that circle is going to be uh, a section of the ocean that I that I listened to when I'm when I when I was right here. So if I wait until I'm here, I'm going to be covering from here to here, and then from here to here. So about uh, eleven and a half miles in each direction will be fresh ocean I haven't listened to before. Hope that makes sense. So I'm just going to plot a little X uh, to remind me. And I'm doing 13 knots on the surface. Uh, it's about 7.30 at night. To, to my little mark here, and I'll go ahead and uh, get, get down to periscope depth. periscope depth, which in most cases is as deep as you need to go to find a surface kind of Okay, so I don't hear anything, and uh, what I'm going to do is pause the video again, and I will bring it back up once I do have contact. Um, we are continuing uh, on our, our patrol um, all the way up to Scapa Flow. See you in a bit. Welcome back. All right, well, I am... Here and uh, I have on a, a routine um, sound check here, contact speed. I have picked up what sounds to me to be a warship. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that. Here, uh, the sonarman will tell me what type he thinks it is. That doesn't always happen. And here's how you can tell: a, a warship is going to be uh, a lot, uh, have a lot faster RPMs, and it's going to be a little higher frequency than a uh, merchant. A merchant's going to be a lower sounding uh, frequency with uh, less, with a much uh, lower rate of shaft RPM. This guy is very faint. I'm sure, I don't. I doubt you can hear it on the on the video, but it's uh, the sound is basically like uh, whoosh, 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 
and it's um, a little bit uh, higher pitch than like the, the uh, merchant ships that you'll get, and that's the sound of the sound of a, of a warship. So I would like to get a uh, you know to see if I can catch them in um, in the scope, or at least get a good sound profile on them. Um, so the shortest distance for me is going to be right about here, but they're probably going about, I would say, prob probably greater than 10 knots. I'd have to come to the surface. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm, you know, heck with it. I'm, I'm going to try. At least I can radio in where, uh, where they're at. Surface the boat. Extreme speed ahead. Flank speed. Current depth one zero meters. Draw some lines between these guys. They tended to travel in uh, pretty well structured convoys. So that's, that's their course. This is about center here. And I'm going to use this to, uh, to time them. I could, I, could, I could do it on a just one of the ships, but they, they can sometimes tra be traveling at slightly different speeds. I'm just, just going to use this technique. Now I'm moving rather quickly. Um, and uh, so the only way for me to really get a good speed is to stop and use my hydrophone or visually and do it that way. So instead of what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue looking along. I know that they are uh, going roughly like so. So my earlier course estimation was pretty accurate. And I should be able to see them pretty soon. So. All right, so we are uh, in pursuit of a, uh, a convoy of some kind. Now they are protecting somebody, and they're traveling at a good speed. So I bet you it's it's a it's a uh, large warship that they're probably protecting. I'm going to bring my guys to uh, battle stations. A couple ways you can do that. You know, click on this guy. Uh, but I'm, I've already brought him, brought him to battle stations. So you, can, you can tell him to do that or you can just use the mod and click stuff. I'm not really sure uh, what, the, what the difference is when you bring him to battle stations. I mean, they do their jobs, seems just as well when they're not on battle stations, but in real life, you would bring it to uh, battle stations if you're coming up, if you're nearing a, uh, you know, if you're nearing the enemy, so. We got a bit of a sea state here, it's kind of, a lot of waves washing over the U-boat. There they are. I'm not. Yeah, that's. I thought they're traveling much faster than uh, I'm going to be able to travel. So I'll get as close as I can. And, and all right, so I'm going to take a better look at these guys. Oh, looks like we got some spurs coming towards me. Maybe could, yeah, because I'm within their visual range. might be a capital ship. That's what I want to see. I want to see who they're uh, protecting. I can't really tell. Right now. You can see him. Oh, they're shooting at me now. Uh, let's 